guys, another day, another adventure, another ferry because we live on an island. Welcome back to Daily Driven Exotics. Look at this beautiful day. Ah, uh, island life, island life. If you guys have never driven onto a ferry before, it's, it's, it's a fun experience, you know? You get to drive your car or vehicle onto yet another type of vehicle, a big ship in this case, and it transports All you. All right, I'm gonna go hang out with the homies. Chris is driving the Ferrari, of course. Dave's behind me in the G, -G, 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 -G wagon. You guys gotta check out this view. Check this out. Gorgeous. Oh man. I'm looking forward to being out of the house going for this road trip. We've got the Ferrari, we've got the McLaren, and then we've got, well, the not so cozy G Wagon. Dave's still got his Dave's got his fancy lights on. He put this fake Brabus little lip spoiler. It's like Dave with the fake Gucci, he's got the fake Brabus. It's what? all good. Well, the real one's like four thousand dollars. You don't pay me that much money. Stop being cheap, right? Chris, <laughs> tell him, stop being cheap. Hey, 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 no, no, no. Yeah. What kind of hippie having here today? It's all healthy snacks, like knowing soybean, knowing my wife, beef jerky, protein bars. Okay, I'm cheap. Look at the generic water. Bottles of water. What is that? That ain't Fiji, bro. From Chilliwack. Yeah. I support local. Canadian water. Look at this. Canadian. There's a banana loaf. Yeah. A protein bar. All right. Followed by a protein bar. If you're so hungry, there's a protein bar. Yeah. And then for dessert, there's a protein bar. <laughs> and you have some. Viag, I don't know what that is. Krill oil. Do you know what krill oil is? Fish oils, it's good for you. All right. Supports brain function. You should try some. You definitely curl right at it. Curl huh? oil? Curl oil. Apples? Stacking apples? I dare you like to stack six, four Impala. So what are we doing? What are we doing? I'm we're not going, done to explain no, the snacks. We're so going. we're on a road trip. Chris's exhaust is gonna get put on at August Luxury Motor Cars. We will make it there eventually. But we have to go to Ferrari first in Vancouver and pick up what? The car is 15 years old, so we fear there might be some exhaust stud issues with being seized. Yeah. So we're gonna buy Chris There's no brand. stud issues, but <laughs> the stuff might be seized. Yeah, your studding days are over. I'm a huge stud. <laughs> Cut my own hair. We're gonna buy some exhaust gaskets and studs. The He's just jealous because he doesn't have hair. Guess how much it cost from Ferrari? How much? It was cheap. 300 bucks. That was cheap? For Ferrari to have gaskets and studs like yeah, that? That only cost for a Honda, Chris. Oh, uh, like eight or nine bucks. <laughs> no, no, not be that cheap. <laughs> okay, maybe. and it hammered on it and all of a sudden it lost all power. I started chug chugging along and did it twice and now it has to check engine light. Look right there. Oh, it's bouncing around, it's like literally lurking. On our way to Ferrari, we get to pass Lamborghini of Vancouver. We got some beautiful cars sitting here. Green SV. I like this Performante in purple. What do you guys think? That's a wild color. I think that's the 30th anniversary purple. This is uh, obviously an Aventador SV. We got an Aventador S. Oh, old school Aventador. That's like a OG 2012 model, Urus. Oh, you in limp mode or what? Two what's, wagons broken. What's wrong with it? So I got off the ferry and I was on the throttle at 45 RPM. I lost all power and it bucked a few times. Really? It was okay. Then I tried it again and did it again. Check engine that came on. Now it's consistent and automatic. It'll buck at 45, won't go above that. However, manual mode, it seems to be okay. The good news is there's a full factory warranty. Get to Kelowna, get to a dealer, and they'll take care of it. How'd you break that? I know, right? I'll break this thing's a tank. tank. It is a this tank. This thing's a tank. You're looking at me, yeah. Chris. I'd be after you right now. You're lucky this is on me, Chris. Yeah. Chris, the gifts are not over yet, Chris. <laughs> More gifts, yeah. This is a big moment in our friendship. What is this? What'd so, you buy? 
Chris, I got for you Cardboard. not one but two exhaust manifold gaskets. Oh, excellent. And just to be safe, we got some exhaust studs and nuts just in case of an issue. You got studs right here, a couple of studs. So right here, you guys, is uh, $300. That's 300 bucks. Yeah, so you're welcome. <laughs> There's no sponsor in this video, Chris. If we leave now, I looked, the weather is clear. If we leave tonight, it's gonna snow, which would not be good for that car or that one. That one would be okay, but it might break down. So you yeah. got you guys are coming on a road trip of a lifetime. The odds are stacked against us yet again at Daily Driven Exotics. Either the G-Wagon's gonna really break down and be stuck on a mountain pass, or the supercars will be stuck in snow. You know I'll keep going. Chris would be a little all over. He's the most screwed. He's got old Pirellis on here. I got the snow oh, mode yeah. on that uh, maraschino knob, nah, right? Maraschino? Not it's a maraschino cherry. cherry. It's a <laughs> manatino. We're about to hit the road. We just stopped to get some food from a drive through I brought these guys to the most challenging supercar drive through in Vancouver. Let's see how Chris does with his new wheels and his new Ferrari. As you can see it goes up a hill and then it makes a hard right turn and there happens to be a curb right there. There's a ramp there and a ramp on the other side. It's narrow and it it's good luck. What does it look like on the way down? Bad. It's not impossible. I mean, I'm driving it in the McLaren, but a new supercar owner like Chris, it would definitely make you nervous. To cut this corner, not run into the building like a whole bunch of people clearly have. Come on, David, let's see a wall tab. <laughs> you got stairs on this side. You can see it's pretty close. It's not, it's a very, very, it's a very, very narrow drive through Let's see how Chris manages to tackle this. Let me pick this one. <laughs> this is literally the worst drive through in Vancouver. Yeah, be careful. Don't curb that side either. It's narrow. Yeah. Keep coming. Keep coming. <laughs> Dude, it's not good. Cut it to the right. Turn the right. Hard right, hard right. Are we gonna get a love tap? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You're just gonna make it. This is the worst drive through in Vancouver. I'm sorry. Hey, who picked Wendy's? That was me. That was you. That was That's on you. Want, I'll get Dave Thomas. What'd you get? Baconator. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's so bad for you. What? Yeah. Really bad. High calories. I got one of these. I got a Dave's single and some fries. Well, Dave is not single. How do you know Dave's not single? I got a girlfriend. hasn't been that long and I have to pee right now. I always say Shell. Why do you want to go to Chevron? This says 94 Chris, octane. Who Chris, cares? The 91 here is better than the 94 right at Chevron. Right 20 years of friendships. Hit him in the mouth right now. Hit him in the face. 20 years of friendships. You said we weren't friends. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you can't wear that shirt. You've never been on that rally. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Poser. I'm putting on the mask and I'm going in to get some red in the bowl. Hey, you guys got any banking we should do? <laughs> Right, what are you getting? Candy. I'm not getting candy. It's not in your diet plan. Yes, it is. This is the diet candy. I already verified with the nice young lady at the front desk. Okay, let's yeah. go. Yo. Snacks complete. Yeah. You got, hey, finish pumping my gas. <laughs> How long until the next stop? Uh, we have two hours through the mountain. And it's supposed to start snowing, so we need to keep moving. Yeah, fingers so have, crossed. Two supercars of summer tires and snow and a broken jeep wagon. And I told you this was a bad idea. Well, this isn't good, and I'll tell you why. We're going up a very, very high altitude mountain pass, which means it's gonna be freezing up there, which means this rain will not be rain, it will be snow. Dave, it's raining. It's not supposed to be raining because we will be encountering snow. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Oh, this, is, this is a bad idea. 
I told him that we shouldn't come because the weather didn't look good. And David's like, no, 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 David, it's good. You're good. Take the McLaren. I'll take my G-Wagon. Lesson learned. Never trust Dave. Look how close we are to the snow. Oh, Dave feels probably real safe in his G-Wagon up there right now. Well, you guys watch DD for the adventures and the shenanigans. I hope you're coming along for this adventure. I'll tell you that much, guys. We might be in trouble. You might never hear from us again. That's a sign that said chain up area. Chain up area. Does this look like the type of car you put chains on? I'd put chains on this car. I've actually put chains on a car before my Huracan. Look at the snow line. We are above the snow line, you guys. There's Mr. Bad Idea right there. All right, the G-Wagon is doing pretty good. I can't really throttle on it much. Like, I have to really roll into the throttle above 100 kilometers, that is, 100. Despite the fact it's considered a broken car, it has snow tires on it. So if there was an issue at the top of this uh, mountain pass, we could ditch the cars and then take the G-Wagon. So, you know, it's really good to diversify your vehicle assortment. All power. Ah, uh, Chuck's dead. Literally, my Chuck's dead right now. I've lost all power. Literally, shut down. This is actually no joke. This is dangerous. G wagon's dead. G wagon down. The G wagon's down. Again. I'm actually nervous right now. That was really sketchy. I legit freaked out. That was the worst possible place that could happen. I'm gonna put it in manual. Okay, we're in manual. I think we're good. It literally stalled. Oh, okay, that was that was a real moment there. Like we're at literally at most dangerous spot to this highway. Okay, I'm gonna stop recording for a second and focus on this. Look at the snow, you guys. This is this is not where we're supposed to be. This is higher than our cars. All right, Chris and uh, Damon pulled off to the side for a minute. They want me to stop and chat about what happened, but I'm not gonna do it. I wanna keep moving. I don't know what's wrong with this thing, but literally back there up the hill, I, I got on the throttle a little bit harder than normal and started to do that shaky thing. I'm gonna beeline this thing straight to the dealership in Kelowna, a Mercedes-Benz, drop it off and say, have fun. driving our supercars like look at it we're on top of a mountain you guys this is as dd as it gets it's snowing out lightly and look at this look where we are yeah this is amazing this is beautiful up here Woo! that got all squirrely look at the freaking snow you guys that know everything on cars based on, you know, limited data. Tell me below in the comments, what's wrong with the G-Wagon? Here's the good news, weather is cleared up. It is looking nice. And it's dead again. Well guys, it was going really smooth. Hold on. So hopefully it starts. We've made it really close to Kelowna. I'm coasting boys, I'm coasting up the hill. Is it dead? Yeah, it's completely shut off right now. Put in park. Key off. I'm gonna lock it for a second this time. Okay, ready? It's not starting. There it goes. All right, the G wagon's good, you guys. It started again. I don't know why I died, but it completely shut off again. I wasn't even on the throttle that time. Ah, uh, yeah, it's doing it again. It didn't stall that time, but I really gotta watch the throttle. And before, if I had it in manual mode, it didn't seem to do it. Now it makes no difference what mode it's in, and if it's on or off the throttle, it's dying. Woo! We made it, you guys. Welcome to Kelowna. Dave's truck
truck is limping. It ain't doing very well. It ain't doing well at all. Hey, we made it to Kelowna. Get in here. You're gonna, come on, signal and get in already. Thank goodness I can get out of this car. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I present the Royal Kelowna to you. That's where we're staying. What's the plan? You said you had a plan, man, so, what's the plan? I contacted Mercedes. This is how I lean, it's weird, right? Yeah. And I talked to the guy, he goes, it's like it could be a transfer case. Oh, really? And I said, how much does that cost? He goes, the part, $28,000. Shut up. Yep. When I drive at low speed, you can hear a rattling noise too. It's making a banging sound. So it could be the, tra the transfer case. Damn. $28,000. Plus it's a six month wait for that part. So guess what? Tomorrow we're car shopping. <laughs> I'm going to get another daily drive. He says that this is the fanciest hotel in Kelowna. $200 US for the night for the three of us to stay in. That's not that much. Hmm. I thought it was still like two, three thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's actually not bad, Dave. I'm not gonna lie. You got a living room? Damn, we got a patio and everything. There we go. Wow. This, this is okay. Holy This'll do. This was $200 for the night. That's cheap. I'm glad we survived that together. Us, you, me, the cars, the no, elements. No joke, I was stressed with the camera. I know you were they stressed. Thought I was being serious, I was like, okay guys, this isn't, this isn't a joke right now, I need to like deal with this. My Jew wagon's gonna be broken for a few months. You have to buy a replacement vehicle tomorrow. I, mean, I got kids, man, I gotta drive them around. We're going shopping. I saw there's a couple like AMGs at August right now. Are like there? E-Class, S-Class, C-Class. G-Class. I already have one. <laughs> Alright guys, we're here at Mercedes-Benz in Kelowna, parts and service. My mechanic's useless. That's it for the G-Wagon. The story is over, for now. So there's the exhaust, I don't really see anything, but there was some knocking and banging noises coming over here. Damn, I don't want this one anymore! A 2020. This one's so, yeah! A 2020 for a quarter million. We're gonna leave the G-Wagon here at Mercedes. It has a full factory warranty for six more months to 2016. Hey! Not back in late. Put that back on! I heard nothing leaking! Bye, G-Wagon. Bye. You know what's really upsetting? Like, I'm really gonna miss that car. But tomorrow I'll buy a new car! I'm already over it! E63 ass, S63 ass. You're not buying it. Yeah, yeah, I buy a new car tomorrow. I'm supposed to get home. We're gonna get you uh, one of Matt family's cars from Mazda. <laughs> That's what you're getting. They're good cars, Mazda. Reliable. <laughs> Ryan's got a new Lamborghini. It's old school, it's really funky, and it's pretty rare. Oh, look at that. We, we're in sync with the doors. You ready for this, Chris? You this like, is sick. Yeah. You like Lamborghinis, Chris? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're a That's Ferrari a guy. You're gonna love this. That's Jeep. Ryan is a huge Ferrari guy. And, oh, apparently, huge. and apparently a huge Jeep guy. By the way, it's to Ryan, you guys. It's been a while. Hey guys, That's what's actually, up? Dude, is that like a Grigio Telesto? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeep? It's, yeah, exactly. It's a Lambo color. Dude, this is sick. Is it actually a Lambo color? <laughs> no. Did you paint it, Ryan? Yes, tell the internet it is. It looks like a Lambo color. It's like Nardo Gray. First, 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 Chris. This is Ryan's very first kit car ever bought. Yeah. It's a Fiero. You like Fiero, it? Fiero, yeah. Little engine. And I have two of them now. I got two kit cars. Well, look at the size of the spare wheel. That's pretty good. Because back then, what year is this, Kutosh? This is an 88 and a half. So think 88. So built in 87. Yeah. And look at the size of the spare wheel. That's bigger. Like back then, like 17 inch rims would have been massive. Oh, How big is sure. that? That's a 15? I mean, dude, it's pretty big. It's only spare. a 15, it looks way bigger. It looks way bigger. It's an 18, the spare tire is an 18. I was right, it's big. And I said a 17. So, I've never had I'm, off, spare I'm off by an inch and I tell my wife the same thing. <laughs> See that, Chris? Ooh, wow. <laughs> there you go. This is awesome. You can put all your groceries in here. Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. Keeps them nice and warm, too. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> Perfect place for pizza the delivery. Pizza, yeah. pizza delivery. Yeah. People know <laughs> that Lambo logo, but the real logo is like the old school logo. Oh, that's yeah. cool. So tell them about this car, because we were just chatting about it. It's only got 250 horsepower. Yeah, it's a V8, so it's a baby Lamborghini. So it's pretty much a baby Countach, and it's a V8, 250 horsepower, uh, but target top. So the roof actually comes off, and it stores behind the seats right here. So this is the roof right here, but it sounds amazing. It's a great little car. They made about 410 of them. All right. Time to say goodnight to Ryan. Bye, Ryan. Um, <laughs> where are we off to now? Are you uh, Chris hungry? wants a drink. Chris Chris is alcoholic. I, I don't, know drink. He, I don't, I don't drink, drink myself. He's already got drinks from Ryan. <laughs> Get in your car. Oh, push the play button. Push the play button. How many people have ever realized that's the YouTube? That's the YouTube play button. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. You're an 
<laughs> Bye, Ryan! <laughs> His name is French Chicken and he always eats chicken. You'll never see him order anything other than chicken, ever, 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 ever. Protein. He won't eat, he'll literally eat a chicken burger anywhere you go. You got beef? No, I got chicken. So honestly, how nervous were you at that uh, drive through exit? Well. It is literally the oh. supercar oh. drive through oh. nightmare. This is not an easy, this is the worst drive through I've ever been at, ever. Easily in Vancouver, but almost anywhere. 